Hello, Jason. Uh, Alden Nygaard in South Dakota. And I, this is something I wanted to do when you were here, but I, uh, we ran out of time. Uh, so I want to introduce uh, a local legend and a nationally known uh, mixologist who's uh, worked all over the world, and uh, New York and Milwaukee and other places. Anyhow, he's going to make some cocktails out of our rye, bourbon, and uh, rum. So, without any further ado, Austin Foster. Thank you. Very kind words. So, kind of as Elton said, we're just going to work through a few, a few cocktails. Um, uh, I think that uh, starting with spirit is important, and being able to kind of uh, adjust the proof is something that's pretty unique about um, what Elton can do at Clay Turner. Uh, First cocktail we're going to do is just a just a standard Manhattan. I'm going to be working through a number of classics. I think classics really kind of showcase spirit really well, mostly because we've had those classics with a variety of different spirits, so um, you get to really kind of taste that difference. Uh, we're going to start with a little bit of of the rye. Um, a, uh, a Manhattan is a classic two one two sort of cocktail, so we're going to go two ounces of the rye whiskey. Then we're going to bring, we typically use sweet vermouth as the, as the next component of it. Um, but Elton actually does this really wonderful port wine as well. And I think that this is going to, again, kind of showcase more of what, of what they're doing. Uh, but the product itself is delicious and lovely and it, it stands up to that rye whiskey extremely well. So we kind of said it was a 2-1-2, two, two. that's two ounces of rye whiskey an ounce of our wine product, which is going to be the port, and then we've got just a couple of dashes of that. I'm going to put a heavy stir on that. A little bit of ice. A lot of bit of ice. The reason we do that is not just to kind of chill the cocktail, but to also um, add dilution. That's really, really the most important part of it. And I'm going to hit that for about probably 30-ish rotations. Um, we don't need too much water. Oh, good news, it is delicious. We're going to take it and we're just going to serve it into a coupe glass here. If I can find my strainer, we'll be in good shape. An important part of this cocktail is also a little bit of orange oil on the nose. So we're just going to put a little bit of a spritz over top. We'll discard that. And then a cherry. And here we have a pretty classic Manhattan. next cocktail we're going to work through is going to be a shaking cocktail. And um, we're just going to do a classic whiskey sour with the bourbon. Uh, when, when making a classic whiskey sour, I do enjoy putting a little bit of egg white in it. So from an egg white standpoint, we're just going to separate the yolk from the white. Like so. Then we're going to bring a little bit of simple syrup to the party. This is a one-to-one -one, uh, simple syrup made with Demerara. Uh, so we're going to do three quarters ounce of simple. Then a critical component is going to be fresh juice. Um, I've got some fresh lemon juice here, and we're just going to put about three quarters ounce of that. And then 
we're going to bring our our bourbon to the party. This is cask strength again, so we're working with it a little bit plussed up. This is going to be 130 proof roughly. And we're going to bring two full ounces to the party there. Another thing that I think would be that kind of boosts that, that flavor component from the bourbon is going to be a little bit of salt. So I got some brine that I'm adding as well. I'm going to put some ice in that. And I'll work through what's known as a reverse dry shake. Uh, that shake is uh, it serves two purposes, right? So again, we've got the ice in there that's going to add dilution, and after we get that kind of diluted to where we want it. We're going to strain the ice out and good news it's delicious we're going to strain the ice out and we're going to shake it again to further emulsify that egg white second shake is really gonna help us froth that egg white up because what we really want from that egg white is texture now whenever we make a cocktail with egg white we always like to garnish with a little bit of aromatic bitters. And just kind of spread those out just a little bit. And there we have a classic whiskey sour. third cocktail we're going to kind of make a, we're going to work through is is one of my favorite cocktails it's a daiquiri it is uh is a cocktail that um i think really kind of showcases uh rum it's a very simple cocktail uh, it's just fresh lime juice a little bit of that demerara sugar we were talking about earlier and these come in at three quarters ounce each. And then we're going to bring some of this from some of this rum to the party as well. And uh, what's kind of nice uh, is we've got a little bit of we've got a little bit of age on this one. How much age do we have on this one, Alden? A little over two years. Yeah. So this is going to be just lovely in a daiquiri. So we're going to two full ounces of that. It is aged in used whiskey barrels. Yeah. It's lovely on its own. It's fantastic in a cocktail. Have the shake here. Delicious, as hoped for and expected. And we'll strain this, and we'll also fine strain out the uh, the ice chips. And here we have it. We've got three cocktails made with um, Elden Spirit. Uh, now we get to do the fun part, which is drink them. <laughs>